We got a sneak peek at the new lot type coming with The Sims 4 for rent, as well as some more tweets with information. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So The Sims shared on various social media, including Twitter, multi-unit galore with the new tool you can build your next property in any livable world. We're talking townhomes, duplexes, in-law suites, condos, dormitories, and more with The Sims 4 rent. And the little video clip that shows there shows the multi-unit lots in various worlds, including Tumerang, Oasis Spring, San Sequoia, Del Sol Valley, and Brightchester. And of course, some of the things that were used in the pack come from multiple different packs. So you can't really get a peek at what's coming with this pack, just the whole tool that's coming with this pack. I even saw a diving platform from Get Together. So one thing also that I saw was that one of the buildings showed that the units weren't attached and also in the final building there were six units. So we've been getting a bit of information. We got this, we got the Create a Sim peak and of course then we got the new Discord recently. So I'm kind of wondering if we're getting more information more quickly than say we did with the Horse Ranch pack because we now have a new global community manager for the Sims. Agent Shawnee tweeted on the 8th that she was excited to announce that she joined EA as a global community manager for The Sims. She is also an admin on the new Sims Discord, so I'm sure she's behind that. So yeah, so that's kind of exciting news. I was happy to see that. I was kind of missing the fact that there was no global community manager. So in addition to talking about the various tweets about this new tool, I'm going to have a zoomed in, slowed down video clip running in the background from that essentially video clip that was shared by The Sims. So most of the tweets are by SimGuru Nova and the first one that she sent was, hello, multi-unit building is one of my features. Getting this level of freedom in the game for y'all has been a wild journey to say the least, but I'm so happy with where we've landed. The possibilities are endless. I'm so excited for the community's creations. And of course, a lot of people followed up to her tweet there. And so here are some of the questions and answers. So can you tell us how many Sims can live in each house? Up to eight household members, Sims, cats, horses, etc. per unit, like any other household. So that means that these new units aren't limited in size. They have the same limit that we have with any household. So that means you could have up to, if I'm doing my math properly, 48 Sims in one particular structure. Though, of course, there are limits in terms of the community zone limits. So if you're in the one house that had eight Sims or the one unit, I should say, you're not going to see all the other Sims. I don't know. I've heard that it's 20. I've also heard it's 25. I'm not sure which it is, but it's somewhere in that range unless you have a mod like MCCC, the population module lets you increase the Sims per uh, the, the zone in addition to being able to increase your Sims per your household. But of course, you do need a computer that can handle that and is only available for those on computer. So someone asked, are you able to live in multifamily lots without being a landlord? And the response there was, of course, you won't be forced to be any certain role. You'll be able to tell whichever story you'd like, which to be fair, I had gathered that from the blog post, but then not everybody reads the blog post. So it's definitely, you know, a reasonable question and good that we got that confirmation there. And then another question was, can we make our homes a rental without having it be like townhomes? So if your sim lives in a house and has lots of extra room, can you rent out an extra room? And obviously this would be done in a different way than say when you have the roommates feature from Discovery University. So the response there was a residential rental can be basically any form you'd like it to be. So apartments, townhomes, duplex, in-law, cottage, rented out, basement, etc. Like was mentioned in the tweet, but you could rent out multiple rooms in your house, designate which parts of your house are shared, etc. So it seems like that tool for designating what's belonging to a particular uh, unit also is there to designate an area that is shared within the house. I would expect if it's an outside area that's not fenced out that that would just by default be a common area, but we'll find out soon enough. So someone also asked, do you have to use certain apartment doors to make it work? 
And the response to that was all doors are welcome. So you don't have to use any particular or specific door or certain doors to be able to put on your lots, which I have to say looked the case in the video clip that we got. And then someone talked about how s the lot was stunning in Tumerang. And the response to that was Tumerang is literally so beautiful that she adores it and every time she does play there she wants to take a million screenshots and it is very pretty I'm looking for it's actually one of the things when I was a little bit concerned about some of the things in the pack the world was one of the things that interested me the most though what they've shared now about this tool is definitely piquing my interest and making more me more interested in that aspect of it. So then someone did say the units do not necessarily have to touch, correct? So could you build multiple houses on one lot and rent them out? And her response was, I meant it when I said freedom. And of course, there was one of the builds that looked like there were like two row houses side by side with a gape, a gap down the middle. So I had gathered that after watching that a few times, slowly too, even. So one last thing that she sent, but it is very important, is feel free to start pre-building. Converting to a residential rental is easy peasy. Now I have to say, I was wondering about that, whether the tool was something that you had to use while you were building, but it looks like it's something you use to mark an area. So if you already have lots that would be suitable for this, or if you're just excited to get started building, feel free, you'll be able to use those lots once you get the pack. So that's very good news because I know there's lots of lots on the gallery that are like mini apartment buildings. I've downloaded a couple in the past to put, you know, sims that I add to my world into them. In addition to that information about being able to convert to residential rental, she did a follow-up tweet saying to make sure you leave space for the new marble rings and hopscot courses and slow cookers and communal mailboxes and all that. So someone responded, slow cookers? And she said, yeah, it was in the trailer. So I'm thinking that that was what I thought, and I know a lot of people thought, was a rice cooker. Here is a screenshot. And then here's another screenshot when it's like being opened and there's all the steam. So that actually looks to me, I had even wondered a little bit at it at the time, kind of looks like a multi-cooker, like something like an Instant Pot pressure cooker that has multiple things that you can do. And obviously Instant Pot's just a brand. They can have lots, Ninja is another one, as well as others. So, because that's something that you get, that steam coming off when you, you know, release the pressure. I have never actually noticed that with my rice cooker per se. So I'm kind of wondering if it's more like a multi-cooker, just like in a way that mixer is kind of like a replacement for a food processor in the Home Chef Hustle pack. And of course, also in this screenshot, you can see the kettle, which I had seen reference to. So leave room. And, and then if you're curious about the mailboxes, that was actually in the trailer where the Sims were getting the mail. It's like a thing that you put on the wall, community mailboxes. And it's also in the cover art. And the hopscotch, I don't know what the footprint of that. It looked a bit big, but not massive because they did show it like on a, like a balcony that it was used. So it's kind of looks like it's long and narrow, maybe a bit longer than an existing like yoga mat from Spa Day, possibly, but similar width, but maybe, or maybe narrower. I'm not really sure. So just keep those things in mind. Maybe we'll get the footprints for that sooner rather than later. Sometimes they do share that. But one final tweet that was not by SimGuru Nova and instead was by SimGuru Ninja was this one where he said six with a thinking. Yes, I mean, unless you're using the cheat. So a lot of people asked if six was the limit and I didn't actually see a direct response. And this isn't actually a direct response to anybody's tweets, but I'm thinking that that's what this is, is that the limit is six but that there is a cheat that you can have more. Though, of course, we don't know anything about that cheat, but obviously you need to make sure your computer can handle it. So I'm thinking that's what this is saying, but of course, I'm just speculating a little bit. So let me know what you think about all the information that was shared in the, you know, I'm seeing the tweet, but it was on various social media platforms, a little video clip, and in the tweets by some guru, Nova and this final one by Simguru Ninja. I'd love to hear your opinion. 
including what are you most excited for in a comment down below. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!